Well, hello there, and welcome to This Week at Intuit for September 23rd, 2011. I'm Scott Kapliner. And I'm Holly Perez. Together, we'll bring you the weekly headlines of what's making news around Intuit. You can see us every Friday here on the Intuit Network. Intuit's annual Investor Day was held this week at the company's Mountain View campus. Business leaders joined Intuit CEO Brad Smith and CFO Neil Williams to share the company's fiscal year 2012 strategy. You can check out the full replay at investors.intuit.com. Media, financial, and industry analysts, as well as partners, got a glimpse of Intuit's next generation of mobile products at an innovation gallery walk this week. The company showcased more than 20 mobile solutions, including SnapTax, Mint Advice, and the Intuit Health iPad patient check-in. Yeah, I think we all know that we're shifting now into this connected services world where computing is moving to the palm of our hand. A lot of people don't realize that the processing power in an average smartphone is 1,000 times more powerful than what landed a man on the moon. So this is going to bridge the digital divide. And what I mean by that, there are 6 billion people in the world today. 2 billion have access to a PC and the Internet. 5 billion have phones, and those phones are getting smarter every day. What a wonderful way to deliver solutions to small businesses and consumers around the globe to help them improve their financial lives using this new medium called digital devices. That's why you see all this buzz over here. People are seeing things being done on phones that you couldn't imagine doing, and you couldn't imagine doing with a PC. Take a picture of a W-2 using a smartphone, have optical character recognition, read the information, and do your tax return for you and be done in 10 minutes. That's pretty powerful stuff. You can read more about the event here on the Intuit Network. The Intuit Payment Solutions team is looking for a director of quality engineering to work in either Woodland Hills or Mountain View, California. If you have experience managing complex quality engineering teams and want the opportunity to help set the strategic vision for the team, apply now at IntuitCareers.com. Intuit has reached its highest ranking ever on the InfoWeek 500 list of most innovative business technology organizations. With a ranking of 41, it is into its best ranking since it debuted on the list in 2002. The Information Week 500 shines a spotlight on IT innovation by identifying and recognizing business technology teams that have made a notable difference in how their companies do business. Intuit and several company executives are included in The Ultimate Question 2.0, a new book by Fred Reichheld of Bain & Company. The book highlights how organizations are using Net Promoter to drive great customer experiences and customer loyalty. Speaking of customer loyalty, there's a small business in Oakland, California called Green Halo Jewelry, and it's known for making locally handmade products. Ashley Rogers, owner and designer, has been in business for more than five years, beginning with a passion that started as a part-time gig. The company, dedicated to exploring how people adorn their bodies and their lives with jewelry, leverages social networking like LinkedIn, as well as trade shows to build contacts. In addition to running her business, Rogers also supports a number of charities and educational programs that are working to make the planet a better place. For bringing white light to our collective auras, Green Halo Jewelry becomes our Intuit Customer of the Week. You can read all about them here on the Serving Customers channel, only on the Intuit Network. Well, that's all the time we have today. Yep. I want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you again next week. I'm Scott Kapliner. And I'm Holly Perez. Have a great weekend.